Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the workshop. So, today, very early day. Got up really early this morning. Feeling pretty good right now. Went for a little mile long run this morning, about 5 a.m. About 7 a.m. now, and uh, the sun's still not up. So, hey, we're getting into that winter months, you know. I uh, can't beat that. Rocking the bright orange t shirt this morning just because I got a sunny disposition. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to take and give you guys up a little update video on this power hammer. I know that doesn't look like much, but I'm going to flip the camera around here just in a moment and you guys can take a look at it and we'll go over some of the stuff I've come up with so far and I'm really looking forward to completing this build. Okay everyone, so first off I'll just apologize for the weird angles. Um, this lens on this uh, phone here, this is the wide angle lens on the phone, and so therefore it can make things look a little longer than what they are in real life, or a little distorted. But yeah, so essentially I've got the hammer head all fabbed up here, bolted into my beam, got the anvil die, both very thick dies, three and a half inches wide, three inches tall, those blocks are. This comes out to about 32 pounds, like I've said before. Uh, got our hinge plate all done with our pillow block bearings. And there's going to be a few people that are going to say this joint's weak here, but I've got some uh, purposes of why this joint is like it is. And that'll be gone over in the video as a discussion point, as that is not an area of high impact not so much as here. That's a leverage point. That's an impact point. Leverage point, impact point. Just going to point that out to start with. But anyways, uh, yeah, so frame's all done for the most part. And I've got this little deal here. I've been asked a bunch of times, how are you going to take the effect of where it comes down and hits at a tangent on larger material. This is my little bit of genius I came up with called a traveler. So, and I don't know if I'm the original creator, who knows, maybe Bradley Help Hammers came up with something similar to this years ago. I wasn't born then, so who knows. But essentially, it just uses a top link here. You give this a twist, and this slowly raises. This is fairly stiff because that's heavy, but you know, you got to use two hands or use the little bar that comes with the deal uh, to raise it. But this will allow for you to adjust the back end and the front end will have a linkage as well. So this way you can get the hammer die to hit squarely on the material as you're working it. Now, I am designing this hammer to pretty much be a tooling style hammer. As in the last one, it wasn't really useful for much of anything as far as tooling goes. The other type of hammer that I built, uh, the revisited Da Vinci Cam Hammer, it wasn't as handy for tooling because it would hit at a tangent. This I've designed so this way you'll be able to work tooling under the health portion of the hammer just like you would on a inline hammer. Essentially, that is still a hell of hammer. The only difference is, is there's a traveler here, essentially. That's what that is. It allows this axis to roll through these roller pins and allows the ram to travel up and down in one straight movement versus having to cant as it moves. So that's the secret behind that. Uh, believe it or not, I do put quite a bit of thought into these things. And uh, yeah, and this is all pretty much on a whim coming up with this design over the course of the last couple months. But don't, no need to over engineer it or over complicate it. Uh, and we'll see how it comes out when I get it done here. But anyways, so yeah. So far, so good. I'm pretty happy with the construction. This thing is going to be an absolute beast of a hammer and a monster. 
some of the next things I'll be working on is I have to put on my brackets that'll secure it to the concrete floor. And for testing, I'm probably just going to go ahead and secure it to my concrete floor, which means I got to drill some holes and stuff. But uh, got to do that next. And then we work on filling in this space, the guts, the internals, the part that makes it work and run like a hammer. So definitely progressing, definitely getting there with all the rest of the workload and everything else that we got to do. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to get this done. I hope everybody's as excited as I am. And I just got a question from somebody. They tried to look up the t-shirts that I'm selling. You can find those at the link in the description. They are at www. I think that's three W's. Teespring.com forward slash Christ Centered Ironworks. And you should be able to find the t-shirts that I'm selling there. Like the one that I was wearing in the beginning of this video. Anyways, that's enough of that shameless plug. But hopefully that'll answer the question for anybody who asks me a couple times into the future. Uh, where they can get some Christ Centered Ironworks merchandise. But anyways, that's it. God bless you all. I hope you guys have a great day today. I know I will. And yeah, we'll catch you on the next one.